Welcome to the third edition of Business Redefined, focusing on women on enterprise. And we are privileged to have Josephine Jaroge, a mother of two, a businesswoman based in Thika. And she's delighted to be here with us and share her story. Josephine, karibu sana. Um, to start us off, what business do you do? Uh, I'm a supplier. I'm a supplier my Indy, all silos and low, uh, low materials of feed. I'm supplying within Kenya, but uh, not outside. I was in Hasso, in Hasso, but I was in and I was in Hasso. So as I was uh, look, now going loud looking for a job, I was in a company that was in my mind, that was in my chakula that was in my So I got that idea to start that business, but I didn't have any capital. So I just got employed two weeks, where I got 2,900 and I started my job. Yeah, I immediately rushed to Koma Shabani and I started to do work with Kuchota Maindi and Mikebe. Pole, 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 pole. I started to get my job and I started to get my job. I started to get my job and I started to get my job and I started to get my job. That's how I started. This is a company that you have to find out from you. This company is Ghani and how did they identify you? The most one is the capital industry. By then, I had a customer who was a supplier. So, when I was in the house, I was like, I'm going to go to the house. So, I was like, I'm going to go to the house. Iyo ni kama walihamia na Robi pia hawa kodhika by last time. Iko na ito ya Mugambo. Hawa wili diyo walinipea molalo. Because hige, hile maindi walikuwa nataka, hata sikuwa na pesa ya iyo. So nilikuwa nimetosheka na iyo for that, for those days. Yeah. Those days I was just working, eh. You know, I was young, eh. Sikuwa nafikiria nafanya kitu. I was able to get my hand on my hand, and I was able to get my hand on my hand, and I was able to get my hand on my hand. So, I was able to get my hand on my hand, and I was able to get my hand on my hand. I was able to get what I was doing is good, but I was able to get my hand on my hand. After I was desperate to get my hand, Mtu haile kazi anashika, anashika tu wafanye. Capital was a very big challenge. By the way, to get 2,900, nilipata ka job, kakufunga mikate pale Ken Blest. Nikapata, nikafanya two weeks. Sasa, hiyo diyo nilianzia nayo. Then, after, nilianda na nikauliza order, na nikapewa. Imagine, after, about a month, ile capital ilikuwa ime double mara kama tatu. Sasa nikuwa na kama 10,000. Iyo sasa diyo ilipaya molalo sasa ya kuendelea. Yeah. That time, tulikuwa tunaenda, tunapewa open check. Tunapeleka ABSA. Tunalipua. Then Barclays. Barclays. Sasa, one of the staff from Barclays, akasema, but it's always kubuka yeye. Uh, lazima tufungue account. Company, uh, company sikuwe diyo inatenda kutulipa na iyo hatuta, hatuta kuwa na maisha. And we did so. We were just, we are about three. So mimi nikafungua uh, the guidance of capital industry because I didn't know even how ba ba bank work. Hata tulikuwa tunakata wa taibia pesa yetu nini. But they really advised us, they are not bad, they are, we can continue this way, they shall be giving us advice. So I was handed to a lady who was called Carol by then, Caroline. Na I can say dia sana. Nikafanya like, like uh, six months. Yuko tu na nachota uko, mashabani na ile ujue ni ile kasuku. Iyo, nikachota like six months. Kalo wakaniambia, Josephine, you must think of something else. Uh, tukupatie karoni. 
tunaona unaendelea vizuri so wewe tunaweza kupatia karuni mzuri odi hapana mr kilon ah akaniambia haitakuwa mbaya ile utakuwa unalipa pa month yani hii pesa tukikupatia tutakupatia na miaka 2 kamuuliza 2 years eh na utakuwa unalipa yani niliona ile nalipa na ile mimi natafuta siku hiyo nikaona uh, wamenisaidia mimi nikakubali sasa after kuniongelesha sana so after la kuchukua ile pesa ikukaa sana by the way she applied she pushed it inakuja haraka within the, the course of three weeks hata sikuwa naitarajia mimi ati sasa ati una nini nilikuwa na pesa nishakuwa nimeanza kazi and na hiyo mind ikakuwa niko sa mtu mwingine wakati nilishika ile pesa ah uh, kwanza nilienda kanisani nikaomba Mungu anisaidie niweze kusukuma unajua kila kitu lazima ufanye na Mungu you can't do alone na nilianzia job very well sikurudi nyuma job iliendelea nikakuwa company sasa wameona ninaweza kusapo ninajaza sasa rori they got wa, hata wao wakafurahi wakanipatia sasa molalo ya kutaka mindi nyingi siko nafikiria hata wanaweza taka mimi nikipeleka kapika hapa makakanta nilikuwa naona kama ni sawa lakini hapa wameniambia ile yote utaleta leta sasa hata sasa mugambo nilikuwa naye pia kaniambia lete mingi ikakuwa tena ile pesa niko nayo bado ni kidogo ah uh, nilisoni ni survive tu lakini after one year hata kama sijamaliza kulipa ile believe me nilikuwa nime, nimepata more than 10 million out of 3 million sasa hata ile nilikuwa nawaambia bado ni kidogo ni kidogo ndio wakaniambia sasa inabidi nikuwe na security ndio nipe pesa mingi sasa ile ku struggle security mtu mtu mwenye hajui hajui na sisi tumelelewa huko mashambani hatuna maneno tumesomea huko so, so ile kitu nilinunua kwanza ni plot as my sasa ile unajua hujui hujui maana ya title na hujui maana ya certificate sasa mimi nilinunua ma plot za certificate <laughs> bado hiyo haiwezi kubalika sasa hiyo kina karo wameenda wale walikuwa na ni advice wameona nimemachwa ah uh, but backless walifanya kazi mzuri sana bado waliniita niambia kazi yako bado venye unaendelea you need hii transport unatumia ni mingi sana ambia hapana si mingi bado nilikuwa na kata uh, unahitaji gari there was uh, this guy kosko uh, Silas Mugo by then yeye ndiye ni advisor kaniambia road kama unapata hii road haitaki pesa mingi utakuwa unalipa hivi na hivi aki akaapply hiyo loli wakati nili apply nao transporta wana wengine wakakuwa interested mimi sikosi gari wherever i go mimi gari napata sababu wananijua vizuri sana gari yao iko save hand na ndio sasa nikaweza kusukuma nikaona hata sasa hiyo sita deal na mahindi peke yake kampuni bado sinaendelea zikipanuka ah uh, ndio wakaweza kunipatia maoda kubwa kama michele sasa sasa ikabidi mimi niingie interior interior Tanzania kuna wakaanza kunipatia oda wana package ma, maharagwe sasa hiyo maharagwe lazima upate kwenye inatoka mingi sababu hataki kidogo nataka gari kubwa mimi sasa hiyo ikabidi niende Ethiopia na ndio sasa nilijua kweli sio uh, maharagwe tu nitauza na mchele na mahindi mpaka millet hata kwa sto zangu najua mme, kama mmezunguka mmeona millet Uh, ikabidi sasa sasa pesa tena ile hata kama una uko na gapi haitoshi haitoshi because nini ina ina unafaa ukuwe na pesa mingi ndio uweze ku sasa hata naenda na base depending na season because if i if i need to supply all i cannot manage because even the companies when you wamepanuka wanataka mingi even the population itself imekuwa kubwa so demand iko high changamoto za biashara the challenges you face every day uh in awali one of them is just the cost 
of a warehouse, for example. Yeah. Tell us more about it. Unapata, same, umekuja na mzigo. Sasa wa ukifikilia, ulikuwa na wafikilia imekauka. And the company wamesema, inataka kukaushwa. Sasa, kitabu ukaushe hiyo, naona bay uh, demand yao, wamebitisha mtu mwingine. So, itabidi tena uweke wapi? Chini, ugoje. Wakati umeka chini labda, market menda, chini na demand imekuwa low. Hiyo ni challenge moja kubwa sana. Haya. Ingine, nizo go down. Mwenye go down, anataka go down yake labda afanye innovation. Ka go down kako, ka kenya ume nini kadogo. Sa ingine, unajaza, unapata, hakuna pahali pa kueka mizigo zako. Naona? Sasa inabidi unaenda kukoboa kuingine. Na wakati unakoboa, tena ni challenge because it, uh, lazima kuna ile mawasiriano mkonayo. Challenge ingine ni customer. Na hiyo sana sijui tutafanyaji sababu hata eh, serikali nafaa kuingilia kwa hii supplier. People have been suffering a lot. Company anakuitisha, kuna company zingine, wanakuitisha mzigo. For the first time wanakulipa vizuri. Wana kupea check vizuri, hao wana nini, wana ondoka. Una surprise tena na kutisha the big, eh? Ana kuandika, ana kuwa, unaenda kuendea check, ana kuambia hakuna pesa, hakuna mashida fulani. Labda kuandikia check za kama one year, na naondokea. Mwingine anagusha na hajui, hataki hata kuulizwa. Sasa, customer kama uliko unakimbia kibiashara unakuwa na panuka, unapata one company ime kuangusha na kama 10 million. Hiyo ni challenge ingine. Ukienda pale kustaki. Kama tuseme tufuate the right law. Eh, unapata ina take too wrong kama ingine nilikuwa nayo nilikuwa nimepeleka ya 2018. Na mwele, wale wanakubali tukona pesa ya huyu. Na tutamulipa. Kwa we unakataa kulipwa nusu dio, kulipwe yote, unajua utaki ikuwe siivo na wanakubali but ha watu bado wako wanaendelea na kazi hawajafanywa chochote hiyo challenge inafanya kama supplier wengine if you are not kama una nguvu unagojeka unakufa uwezi face those new challenges haya hebu ingine unapea unapeleka mzigo unaona unadikwa check za kama 10 million unadikwa za nani huna pahali utampeleka Right, and that point by Josephine Jaroga takes us to a short break. Business Redefined will be back with a lot more on this conversation focusing on women in enterprise. Welcome to the second part of this conversation on Business Redefined where we are speaking to Josephine Jaroge who is a mother, a business person and an industry leader when it comes to supply of cereals across this city. Karibu tena Josephine. Uh, COVID-19 was a big challenge to many businesses. Ili kwa effect vipi? This COVID-19, uh, you know, I'm a transporter. Wakati my gari ziko boda, ziri ya chiwa kwenda boda, na sa ingine roni na enderea. Kwa hizo kwanza, this is mama kwanza, challenges ya kuziripa ili kwa jo sana. The other thing, mizigo uh, zenye tuna supply, customer walishidwa kutu supply, kutu ulipa on time. So, wali delay sana kulipa uh, na ikakuwa tunaenda pole pole although we are covering pole pole tu yeah. Mik, uh, bank uh, mimi bank walikuwa wananisaidia kama kawaida because uh, during the covid 19 uh, bado tulikuwa tuna watu wanakula watu wana nini kwa hivyo demand ya chakula ilikuwa juu so mimi bado walinipatia ile unsecure drone na nikaendelea na biashara and they wa, walinipatia muda kama nimeshidwa na kuwapatia pesa on time wananipatia kama 2 to 3 weeks na walipa because ilikuwa inaenda pole pole hawamenishikilia kama sio wao uh, sigeweza kusecure sababu venye una, una surprise most of the people hawalipi on time then who gives a supply, who gets on a go jump a kawalipe, but means he could see mama, Lia Delia to come a kawaida. Nikanga Lebia Sharako, being a transporter supplier, clearly Kono Fanikazi. 
wako wafanye kazi wangapi na huwa anafanya kazi kivipi Okay Niko na wafanye kazi wengi lakini si sana wale hasa permanent ni kama 40 lakini nimewatuma nje kuna ile agent wangu wananisimamia Kitale kuna wale wamenisimamia Uganda kuna wale wamenisimamia Tanzania Ethiopia bado kunao in a way hao sasa ndio wanajua gari ya Josephine imepakiliwa bado natumia gari za za transport eh. wanajua hii gari tumepakia Josephine ni save tunaijua so hao wengine ni hao tu hao offroaders hao wanakuanga wengi mara nyingi nyingine si wengi because wengi wenye tunatumia wako kwa kampuni gari mara nyingi kama saa hii tu sema zenye hazizitareta hapa direct zinaenda kwa kampuni na kampuni wako na offroaders wao na bado ni sisi tunawaripa yeah umesema Ethiopia na kwa sasa tunajua Ethiopia kuna changamoto za kisiasa mm. sijui imekuathiri vipi kibiashara imeniadhiri sana because vitu kama soya tunatoa Ethiopia and there is a shortage of soya in East Africa sasa hiyo market customer analalamika human being hawatawapati ile nutrients za kutosha kwa chakula due to lack of nini na hakuna kitu kingine inalipress soya so hiyo hiyo biashara kusimama pale ama lingine sengine tulituma mizigo eh, pesa pale mpaka vita ishe dio urudishwe mizigo uwe, upate mizigo yako sasa unaona ni kama you have 50 50 ujui kama hiyo pesa inarudi ama inapotea yeah but those people who used to work with them they are very genuine yeah how to see wakola kama ni Kenya dio ungekuwa unasikia hapa na kuna kitu hapa hapa ninapoteza lakini Ethiopia no is that hata uko nje ni sioni kama ni kama hapa hapa wako waminifu kimpatia 10 million nataka hii unapata mziko yako yote kumpatia 5 million unapata mziko yote hakuna kitu inapotea ni wanawake huwa nawaongelesha sana wasiadarit whatever they have kuna mtu unasikia kuna 50000 unajaribu kumuelezea enda na huko hata kama utapakia kaifish ka, ka kamoja hata kama utapakia kakanta kamoja urete uze mimi wanaona hapana ni kidogo ile kitu mimi nawaambianga nawaambia msidharau musi you know you cannot keep telling everyone your story lakini unakaa ni wengi nimeambia hata nimewatuma absa sana wanafungua account mtu anapata pesa imagine anapata mpaka 300 at once na anashindwa na kuendelea so na anawapatia challenge wa na yani waendelee vizuri wasi wasi dharau whatever they have they stick on one business wasirukaruke ninauza nguo ninauza nini ninauza nini wa stick on one business mpaka ishike otherwise akirukaruka hataweza na ndio maana unaonanga na kuja kuchotwa hata kiti ya nyumba ya unaona inaenda na sasa hiyo akienda unaona ai Josephine ndiye aliniambia hii sasa mimi siko hivi na yeye bado anaelea alinidanga haya the other thing ni kujitolea be open yani kukua trusted in a way ukienda pahali eh, mtu anakutrust hata kama huja, hujaweza kujaza mimi nilienda nikatrustiwa wakati nilikuwa naenda huko mashambani wamama wanaona huyu anafanya kazi imagine wanakutrust na kama rori moja na kako ni kanusu unaleta <laughs> ukipatiwa pesa yako unampelekea na hiyo sasa inafanya mtu nini wengine wana trustiwa na wana hepa as ali hata hata ya dileta mara mbili hiyo sasa nimenasa na sana iko na wamama si <laughs> wamama wamama wakuwa, wamama wengine si wote wamekuwa wakidanganya watu na kuwaidia sana Una, unaonekana mtu akutrustiwa na kube wewe ni retro minded person hiyo kidogo tu ndio unaenda nayo Serious na kuna changamoto moja. Sometimes bay iko juu, alafu unasikia two weeks later bay imeanguka. How do you manage that? Your story ya bay kwa ina fluctuate. Unakulingana na ile miaka umefanya, unajua the season. Sisi mimi sasa tukitembea na wewe, tena nikiangalia shamba. Mimi sitaona chita, sitaona gazelle. Mimi tena nikiangalia shamba, maidi imekaa chini, lauti. 
So ukiona inaanza kuharibika kama saa hii unaona si inaanza kuharibika. You must prepare your pocket. Unga itaenda juu. You must prepare to stock. Naona hiyo sasa. Aya, since you are dealing in East Africa, unajua hii country wana harvest this time. Na ingine wana harvest this time. Hakuna wakati country na harvest na ile ingine. Like now Tanzania wana harvest. Eh, Kenya hakuna we are expecting a harvest mwezi wa tisa wa kumi hapo. Before that, Uganda itakuwa ina harvest. Now ya Tanzania itakuwa imeisha. Yeah. Since I have my, my agent there, they keep on updating me. Hii kitu inatoka. Inatokeleze ya masawa soya inatoka. Kama saa hii soya ikukuja Kenya from Marawi. Because uh, China, jiwa changamoto ya, ya COVID. Uh, China wamekua hawakulima, vizuri na India. So yote yenye ilikuwa huko walinunua yote. Kwa hivyo in Kenya kuna shida ya soya. Kara kadogo tunaagalia sote tumeagalia hapo. Then if you have enough capital, you are going to win. Mambo ni mingi serikali inafaa kuangalia. Because sometimes as you are doing to our transport, eh? Unapata gari kama let me use my own my own truck. Eh? Unapata pale kwa oil bridge kuna kamchezo. Unaambiwa gari yako imeja ime, ime exceed. Na sasa hiyo ija exceed. Ule tu anataka pesa. Ukishampatia pesa si ati pesa kidogo anakula. Kama imepitisha na akisema imepitisha na na kama guni ya 10. Anakukula 20,000. And you know hizi chakula hata kama tuna supply hazina big margin profit margin ni kidogo unaweza imagine lori moja wakati hakuna kazi unapata mpaka 100 shillings hiyo ni kama 27000 because ukifanya offloading na whatever just imagine hiyo imeambia ime exceed weight eh? akukule kama 20000 umefanya kazi gani naona hiyo sasa hiyo tena iangaliwe sana hii gine ya check kuwa unapewa check za mwaka kama mimi sasa kuna kampuni amenipea check za one year za 9 million do you expect that man is a human eh, humanity kweli ananimaliza na una kitu kitu yote sababu naona he is waiting hata anasema ndio unistaki mimi nataka hivyo na badala ya kumstaki unanyenyekea hadi six, six days mpaka ulipe Right, and that point by Josephine Jaroga takes us to the close of this edition of Business to Define, where we have been looking at our continuing series of women in enterprise, focusing on the supply of cereals, which is quite big in this market, going to as far as Malawi, Ethiopia, Uganda, and bringing all that into this market. Stay tuned for our next episode of Women in Enterprise. Mm -hmm.